Hey everyone. Okay, so to start this review off, I want to talk about that face reveal, because this is going to sound like such a minor problem right out of the gate, but seeing Void's true face is kind of an example of how I can understand the criticism people have when they say that Mothma really only has one mode of character design. Like, because it's one of those things where I know Void is Shiki's son, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a thing where... The son obviously is gonna take after the father in a lot of ways, but goddamn, Shiki's genes really kick the shit out of Rebecca's genes in this instance. Cause yeah, th this is one of those times where I do wish Mashman got a little bit more creative with the facial design, and I'm not asking for much, just like change up the eyes, maybe even get a little more creative with the color style of the hair, like little things like that. I think would have helped prevent me from saying. Void's appearance is just a carbon copy of Shiki. Like, I can, I hate to say that, but that's kind of... Unless, like, un, 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 unless, 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 um... Like, the only way this works is is that with, with all the Star Wars... The only way I can kind of see this kind of working a little bit is because of all the Star Wars references that... References that, that Majima has made in this series. I guess you could say it, 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 it's from... It, it's from, it's from, like, 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 from, like, the French Casey, not on French Dagobah, I guess, is that it, it's what he's trying to emulate, but... Yeah, I, I think he still could have gotten a little bit better with the character design. Um, with that said, though, one thing I do like is how Ziggy accepts the fact that he himself and Void are basically anomalies of time that just shouldn't exist. That, yeah, this is this is one of those things where they both do need to die. Neither Void nor Ziggy can pretty much be allowed to live in this world any longer. And in, in that sense, I feel like... Like, I feel like Ziggy in that sense is kind of being set up to die again. Like, yeah, unfortunately, like, he is, he is probably going, he is likely to die. It's, like, it, it's gonna, it's gonna happen. We know it is. It's just a matter of whether he takes Void with him or not. Um, with that said, though, I also really like how this fight is playing out by showing that, yeah, even if Void is technically more powerful than Ziggy, Ziggy himself has much more experience on his belt. Like, he has... He has seen a lot. Ziggy has seen a lot. He's he he's trained, he's trained his powers to, to in order to be as strong as he is. So it would make sense that yeah, he's even if he doesn't have the time powers that that Void does, he still has, he still knows how to use his gravity abilities. Um, with that said, though, we do need to talk about the fight between Witch and Wizard, or more specifically, how it ends because. I'll be honest, this is two for two in terms of fights between the Star Stars and Dark Stars, where it seemingly looks like the Dark Stars have. Dark. were. like a Dark Star was killed. And. well, I didn't really care for it as much with Clown, I'm really hoping Mashima didn't just kill Wizard, because. while I like how Mashima is more willing to kill characters in Eden Zero, this is one of those times where, at risk of sounding like a hypocrite, I'm kind of hoping, kind of hoping that that's not the case, and at bare minimum, by the end of this, wizard, wizard at the very least, can be restored in some way, because just the implication that witch potentially killed her husband and yes, Shiki's father, like that's a level of fucked up that's a little hard for me to stomach. Made all the worse by the fact that the Star Shines and Dark Stars are having to do this whole, whole th this while being unable to remember each other, which. Don't get me wrong, is appropriately tragic just from from a poetic point of view, but again, something about this instance specifically is just rubbing me all all the wrong ways. And maybe it's because of my own recent experiences, but for as crazy as it's going to sound, and as much as I am guilty for being one of those people who have derided Mashma for doing this and with Fairy Tale, I am kind of praying that there's a way Wizard can be restored, because him him dying before even realizing he's Shiki's father is just cruel to me. Like, it's it's cruel and just... I don't want to say heartless, but yeah, it just... It feels like there's... I guess in some ways, I guess what I'm also saying is it feels like there's lost potential, but by not going... But by not kind of going through with the idea of the... of Wizard and Witch, like, remembering Shiki as their son. Like, I feel that's something that does need to... Like, it feels like th that's something that still does need to happen in some way, which, yeah, the more I think about it, I almost wonder if the method, the star, sh which, yeah, on that note, like, the, the more, as I'm, as I'm, as I'm saying all this, it does make me wonder 
if the method the star shines used to restore themselves could also be used to restore the dark stars as well, since I imagine they were created using similar design principles, so that could be a way to do it. I just, yeah, I just, I hope, <clears throat> yeah, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm really hoping that, that this isn't the end of, like, end of, end of, end of wizard or even, wizard or even clown, honestly, as much as I may hate the guy, because, like, the, 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 these are people who the who who the star shines used to love so it's like I feel I feel I feel the star shines need, almost need a happy ending as much as as much as all, all the other characters do so yeah here's I'm so yeah I guess what I'm saying is fingers crossed that 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 that, that this, this can all be reversed in some way um but and yeah, I guess we do need to talk about that timer, which is, it's just, it's now just under six minutes, but now before Eden Zero explodes, and with which having defeated Wizard, that really only was Valkyrie in order to defeat Brigandine, and the, the way this fight is framed, I can see it happening one of two ways, which is, it comes down to the wire where Valkyrie defeats him moments before the explosion, and she transfers her code over to Hermit, just barely making it on time, or she flat out doesn't... Or she flat out like, or she, def or she flat out fails in order to, or she flat out fails in order to defeat Brigandine in, on time and to transfer the code, which to stop the explosion. Like I tend to lean more in the former than the latter, simply because I don't think Mossman would do something that drastic so close to the end. But also having the star shine stop the explosion would kind of be the perfect opportunity for an out of the frying pan into the fire situation, which is to say almost immediately after. I can kind of see a situation where almost immediately after stopping the explosion, I wouldn't be surprised if Mashima has both Freya and Kira make an appearance. Like, 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 like both both of these characters make an appearance after, after this day, after Hermit stops the Eden Zero's destruction. Like, that that just seems like too perfect to set up to like to pass up, because that would kind of be, that that would just kind of be the perfect oh shit moment to really throw things into absolute chaos once again after having finally. Done something to get things back on track, not 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 giving and not giving the star shine time to breathe, and Valkyrie having to fight having to fight Freya almost immediately after Brigandine would definitely be an interesting scenario. Although something is really nagging at me as well, which is that even though let's let's say Freya actually does show up and starts to fight uh, and starts to fight Valkyrie. Something like something about this whole Freya situation, even though we haven't met her yet, like it's one of those things where even though Freya has was the allied herself with Void, even I can't help but shake the feeling, even if we haven't met her yet, that she's not fully an enemy either. Like I don't know something about something about Freya just being a flat out villain feels too simple for this scenario. But I don't know. I'll I'll leave it to you guys to decide on that one. But. Yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I got for this review. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Analyst Crunchyroll, be sure to the notification bell, hit the subscribe button, and just share the video around, guys. Dark Knight of a Night, signing off. Later, everyone.